This new OBS plugin for multi-streaming is insane. Let me show you how you can multi-stream easily to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can even do vertical and horizontal streams at the same time. Man, it's just amazing. So to be able to access it, you need to go to atum.tv. I'm going to leave a link down below. And what you need to do is you're going to go down where it says download, okay? And you're gonna go where it says a tomb multi stream so you're gonna go ahead and click download and download it now once downloaded it's gonna show up in your download folder or just click on it and follow instruction and it's going to install on your computer so the next thing you need to do you're gonna go ahead and open obs actually and when you go to docs you're gonna see something that says a tomb multi stream so that's the plugin that we just installed so you want to make sure you click on it and once you click on it it's gonna show up of course you can dock it just put it anywhere you want so the next thing that i'm gonna show you guys is how you actually add your destination so if you're streaming to youtube facebook wherever you want to stream to so what you need to do is you need to go to this little gear icon and as you can see you have what they call main canvas and vertical canvas now main canvas is basically anything that's horizontal and a vertical canvas is gonna be uh, anything that's vertical streaming so they're gonna be doing just horizontal so you need to go to your facebook page so right now i have my facebook page open and what you need to do really is just grab your stream key and then you click here add an input and then as you can see you have all the destinations you can stream to we're gonna go ahead and choose facebook you already have your stream server so you don't need to do anything you can name it so right now it's named facebook output if it's a facebook group you can name it facebook group or facebook profile whatever you want and then facebook server is already there you don't have to change anything and you just go ahead and just paste in your stream key and then hit create output and as you can see it's gonna show up here so let's say you want to add a YouTube destination, just click to YouTube. And the good thing, again, your YouTube server URL is going to be already embedded in there. You don't have to do anything. All you need to do is you're going to go on the back end of your live stream, kind of back end of YouTube where you have your live stream scheduled. And you're going to go ahead and actually grab your stream key. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and then boom, paste it in here and just hit create output. Now, if you want to stream to a Facebook group or you want to add Instagram or you want to add anything else you can go ahead and just go click output and add whatever platform including other services it means you can use custom rtmp so if you want to stream to something else that's not youtube or any major platforms that are listed here you can actually do that so another thing that you have to be aware of if you go to video settings here under your outputs as you can see we have video encoder and you can set it to be the main encoder which is what you're using in your main basic uh, obs settings now if you want to do some custom settings you can still do that right so as you can you have access to rate control bit rate everything basically that you usually set up in obs but again i will actually encourage you to just use the main encoder just to avoid you know adding extra or demanding extra resources on your computer now the last thing that you need to make sure you do obviously you need to go to your settings and set up your main streaming platform before you actually add some extra kind of streaming platforms right so basically they say your main platform let's say it's youtube okay you need to go here set up all your streaming settings in here and add your channel so let's say uh go here stream and then add let's say if it was youtube you add youtube or facebook just set it up first because once you go live you need to start going live first on your main live stream and then from there you can actually go live on these other kind of you know platforms that you have set up with the multi-stream plugin now the last thing if you want to add the very cool streams they say if you want to stream to something like instagram in very cool mode as you can see i have my very cool plugin set up already here and what's going to happen because this very cool plugin it comes from atom as well everything that you actually set up in here is gonna be showing up on the a2 multi stream so you don't have to set up anything you can use this to set up your scenes and sources and everything can be actually controlled here and in my next video i'm gonna show you how to do exactly that basically being able to stream in horizontal and vertical canvas at the same time so if you want to check out that video it's gonna be linked right here and i'll see you there guys take care